In this video, we want to graph a line by first finding its slope and y-intercept. In order to do that, we have to look at the information we're given. This equation is given to us in standard form. And we know that because the x and the y values are on the same side of your equation. So your standard form is ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are constants, just numbers. And what we need to do is to write this equation in slope-intercept form so that we can identify the slope that you need and the y-intercept that you need. So we need to be able to solve this equation for y. So to do that, we first need to move the term on the same side of the equation to the other side. So whenever you want to move anything across the equal sign, you have to do the opposite operation. So our opposite of subtracting 2x we are going to add 2x on both sides. So we have a negative 5y is equal to 2x plus 15. Now, in order to get y by itself, we need to do the opposite of multiplying by negative 5. So we're going to divide the entire problem by negative 5. So dividing by negative 5 on the left, dividing by negative 5 on the right. And on the right-hand side, what you have to remember is that that negative 5 needs to divide both of these terms. You can't decide and pick which term. So now what we have is y is equal to negative 2 fifths x minus 3. So your slope represents the m in slope-intercept form m is the coefficient of x, the number in front of x. So here, our slope is a negative 2 fifths. And our y-intercept is the b part, whatever we add or subtract onto this function. So here we're subtracting 3, so our y-intercept is negative 3. In order to graph, you need to first graph your y-intercept so your y-intercept tells you where your graph crosses the y-axis. And we place our first point there at negative 3. Our slope is negative 2 over 5. So with our slope, we're going to use the technique of saying rise over run. So your rise, to simplify it, we're only going to pick two directions, either up or down. And your run, to simplify, we're only going to the right. So we plotted that first point at our y-intercept of negative 3. And now our slope is a negative 2 over 5. So from that y-intercept point, we're going to go down 2. And then we're going to go to the right 5. Once we have our two points on our graph, we can connect the two points with our line. So let's do that one more time. And they're saying they like the negative sign in front of the fraction, but it means the same exact thing. So let's try one more problem to make sure that you have it. Here, once again, our equation is in standard form. We know that because the x and the y are on the same side of the equation. We want to write this in slope-intercept form. y is equal to mx plus b. So that means we need to solve for y. Our opposite of adding 4x, we're going to subtract 4x on both sides. And now we can identify that our slope is the coefficient of x, the number in front of x, negative 4. And our y-intercept is whatever we add or subtract to our function, 2. We're going to plot the y-intercept first. So our y-intercept is 2, so we plot that point. And now we need to graph our slope. Whenever you're given an integer for your slope, you can still use the rise over run technique. We're just going to put that integer over 1. And just like last time, rise, we're either going up or down. Run, we're always going to the right. So we plotted our y-intercept first. Our graph crosses the y-axis at 2. Our slope is negative 4, and we wrote it as negative 4 over 1. So from that y-intercept point, we're going to go down 4. 
and going to go to the right one. And then we connect our two points. 